time for round two of Coffee Talk. We begin with a shout out to all the moms out there on this National Working Moms Day. We salute you, in big time. In fact, more moms than ever before are in the workforce. And as more and more women try to juggle motherhood while working, many are asking, can we really have it all? As of last year, more than 70% of moms with children under the age of five were working. Okay, 70%. Kent, wow. for some perspective, the Department of Labor reports less than half of all women with children under 18 were in the workforce in the 1970s. Wow. And there's a big difference between kids under 18 and kids under mm -hmm. five. A lot has changed, especially how moms can now work. Some experts say that spike in younger moms in the workforce is actually thanks to the pandemic and some employers allowing for remote work. Unfortunately, though, according to NPR, the numbers do not tell the entire story and the emotional and professional cost of juggling full-time jobs of career and domestic labor. I talk about my group of girlfriends. There are six of us. And of the six, four of us are moms. And two of them have flat out said, if my job requires me to go back in the office five days a week, I will have to quit. There is no way I could make it work for my family. We've talked before about the ups, if, if there is such a thing as the upside of the pandemic and, and the fact that more people work remotely, mm -hmm. but also I think that employers are showing more value for their employees mm -hmm. and and being more flexible in finding a way to make things, you know, more comfortable for them. Here's a perfect example. I know I stroke this place a lot, but w as you know, there's a mother's room mm -hmm. upstairs and it's a very pleasant place to go and take care of motherly duties. Mm -hmm. And there are two or three in the building that are utilizing that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the kind of, a part of that attitude is how can we make it a more comfortable and more doable mm -hmm. for working moms. Versus going and sitting in a disgusting bathroom right. for exactly. 30 minutes every couple of hours or hiding in your car. Right. There are big changes. It's still, it's still really it hard. Still difficult, but I think the fact that people are, that employers are recognizing that and try to, to find a ways to adjust to it, mm -hmm. I think is, should be applauded. Yeah, I agree with you. All right.